Hey, 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 this is Rosa, RCG Creations. How are you? I'm bringing you a recipe for cinnamon raisin bread, only I don't care for raisins. Hubby does, but since I'm baking it, we get no raisins in it. <laughs> the next one I make, I'll get, make it for him, and he'll have raisins in it. And I did, oh, if I remember, I'll, uh, I'll post a link here. I found the... Um, Cinnamon raisin bread in a bread machine. It's on YouTube and I will post her link Check her site out. It's actually pretty good, but uh, What she's done and this is just a FYI tip. She gets to whatever amount of the raisins the recipe calls for uh, Because it's a, in a bread machine. She soaks it in just um, a little bit of the raisin, puts the raisin the amount of raisins that she needs soak put it in a bowl and she adds a little bit of vanilla over all the raisins and just a little bit of water so the raisins stay moist. Okay, and then of course look at your, uh, read your directions on your machine because every machine is different of when you need to add fruit. So it all mixes up and gets all incorporated, okay? And that's what I plan on doing when I make his because more than likely I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same recipe with my other bread machine. So I have my cinnamon bread and he has cinnamon raisin in his. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing, and of course, like usual, I will put all the directions to both recipes. Uh, actually, there's only one going to be one change. One's going to have raisins, one's not. And to the um, description box. Okay, first thing first. Anytime you're cooking, wash hands, soap and water, wash your table, wash all your utensils. And then you start making everything, okay? So, what we're going to do, first thing to do is, because of my machine, you put all the liquids in first. Okay, so it, for my liquids, it asks for uh, one and one-fourth cups water, which I already pre-measured. And it does have my little paddle. Don't forget, you need your paddle, because it's going to do all the mixing for you. Okay. One and fourth cup water. Two tablespoons of margarine because there's no more liquids, but the margarine needs to be softened. Softened. I really enjoy my little stainless steel baby mini pan. My little baby mini frying pan. <laughs> I think it's cute. Okay. Next is three and one fourth three and one fourth cups of gold medal better for bread flour and this is our gold medal bread bread machine flour. Oh you know what? Let me get I don't want to make a big mess, so I'm gonna scoop it into my machine. This is a little bit takes a little bit of extra time, but that's okay. Do yourself a favor and do this. But the simple fact is you want all of the flour to go all the way around the water because when you put your yeast in there on the Oster brand machines, at least the two that we have are Oster, they both say make a well and make sure no liquid touches the yeast. Okay. So and then when you scoop it in like this, you're able to make a mound and it's a deep mound. Okay, so I've got enough in there. I can go ahead and pour this in. And I'm just, parts of the flour just kind of stuck to the sides of the bowl. I'm just shaking it all out, just to get it all out. Frugal Rosa, I like to take advantage of every last bit more so that I can. Okay, and let me bring you to this because I want you I want you to see this part here. I'll try to remember to move slowly because I remember now seeing this in a couple of my videos and I was like, oh, it's moving too fast. See how it's got a little mound? But see there's water exposure there? So I'm going to cover that up. Because you don't want any exposure. And I'm moving, I move back slowly. I don't want to make anybody sick. And let me make sure that I'm still in frame. Yes, I am. Okay. Alrighty, next is one fourth cup of sugar. 
And here's my sugar. Next goes my one and one half teaspoons of salt. Oh, that was the salt. This is the sugar, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around. I don't know if it makes a difference. Okay. And I got the salt. Next is my cinnamon. And this is a cute little container. We got this as a gift for Christmas holidays, but I'm going to leave it out because this is perfect to put measurings when you're making something. And I'm not too worried that it's a holiday item. It's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not particular into stuff like that. Now we're going to add the two teaspoons of dry active yeast. But I'm going to put this in the machine, make my well, and I'm going to bring the camera so you can see what's going on. Okay, let me bring my machine over first. Now I'm going to bring you over. I'm going to try to move slowly. I make sure that I'm in focus. Okay, there I am. Let me get a look just a tad closer. Okay. So, always double check to make sure there's no uh, other ingredients from the prior time I mixed. And that's why I personally like to mix with the pan outside of the machine. But this is just me. You can mix it, but I've seen a lot of people, especially on YouTube, where they spilt. <laughs> Okay, you heard it lock. It's locked in place. Now my recipe calls for one and three fourths teaspoons. So one teaspoon and then three fourths. So it, uh, let me double check. You know what? I gotta double check myself. I always get. Okay, as for one and three fourths, so one teaspoon, three of the one fourth ones, and I do buy the bread machine yeast. But I want to bring you to see. See, there's my stuff. But I'm gonna dig a hole with your little finger right in the dead center. And that little hole is where the, you want the yeast to go to. So one teaspoon. I don't want to dig into that. Let me get my other little cut. I don't want to contaminate my yeast. If I use a little too much, that's okay. Okay, so that's pretty level, so that's one teaspoon, and I'm going to put it right in the little hole that I just made, and then here's the one-fourth, again right in that little hole I just made, and I had a little bit over, but that's okay because I'm not going to contaminate my container, I'll just, actually you know what, I'm going to save that because I'm going to go ahead and make my husband his raisin bread, so I'm going to save that for him. Okay, now we're done. Close my lid. Oh, it's not plugged in. Let me plug it in. Okay, it's plugged in. Now we're going to, uh, I'm just reading the directions, select a bread type, so we're going to do sweet. Okay, so I'm on sweet, I hit select. Select the crust, which is going to be light. Light, select. Then if rapid cycles desired, press select. When rapid is blinking, rapid is blinking, hit select. I'm going to do rapid. And I made the large, this particular recipe gives you large or small, and I did a large one. Oh, I don't, I don't think I showed you a long enough time. There it is, if you want to do a screenshot. I think I made 
me do a screenshot with my camera and add it at the very end. Okay. Oh, uh, now we're going to do large select. And then hit press start. Large. Oh, wait, we're good, good, and it says it's going to take two hours and 40 minutes, so I'll bring you back in two hours and 40 minutes when it's done. Alrighty. Do you hear it going? It's we're doing its thing. Okay, I wanted to show you. I went ahead. Here's my other spread machine. This is different. And here's the first one that I used. And I wanted to show you. This is on the very last knead. That's when you add your fruit and nuts or anything else like that. And you can see how it moves over to one side. So you want to move the raisins over so they get caught and they get kneaded with the with the machine as it's going and doing its thing. See? I want to make sure all of it gets caught. Sorry, something on the phone. Okay, come on. Oh, I hate this new Verizon phone. They did a update and they make you click here, click here before it lets you do anything. Anyway, there it is. See, it's kneading it. You can see the raisins inside there. And it's doing its thing. It doesn't feel like it's really tacky. I don't think I need to add any flour yet, but I will double double check that because if it's too tacky, add a little bit of flour. If it's too dry, if you hear it go knock, 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 like thump, 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 then you need to add a drizzle like one teaspoon at a time, a little at a time, until it gets moist again. But all that is in your, should be in your instruction manuals, okay? Let me bring you back to the, on the next stage. Okay, you see that I added flour to this little corner area because it continued to stick and now it's turned into a ball because it was too sticky. So this is the part where on the second kneading is when you really have to watch it. So that's when you determine if you add more water. Remember a tiny little bit at a time, a little teaspoon, a little drizzle and you can put some water on there let it do it. See how it's turned into a ball that's moving all over the place? that's what it needed to do because it was too sticky but now that yeah I'm just double checking here see that corner area for some reason it keeps on wanting to stick to this side oh look see they moved around because now it's not so sticky but there's some stickiness right there so let me add sorry one-handed here let me add a little bit of flour to this part I don't want to put too much I'm just wanting to so it doesn't stick. There we go. That should keep it from happening all over the place. And you want to do very little at a time just so it can move all the way and knead all over it and get all the fruit or nuts or whatever it is that you're making. See here how it kind of stuck? But it released itself but you don't want to add too much flour either and you can go ahead and touch it and as long as you don't have any dough on your fingers you're doing good so i'm gonna close that back down let it finish it's kneading and then here let me bring you back to the first one see got a minute and 49 left on that one so it's already done its second knead on that one so we're good Okay, we'll bring you back. Okay, bread machine's ready on the first one. This is the one that's mine. Just plain cinnamon. Okay, hubby's going to take it out and put it on a plate. Let me, he doesn't want to be on the video. The actually has been open and it's not hot because we left it open for about 10 minutes. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look how pretty. Turned out nice. Now he's going to get his bread out of his machine. No, just leave that in there for right now. Okay. He's going to go grab a plate. And grab a knife, butter knife. Oh, uh, oh bread knife, excuse me. Bread knife. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and go get the bread knife. Bear with me. I'm putting the camera down. Oh, actually, hubby went to go get the bread knife. Okay. Bear with me. Here it is. It's coming out. This one's hot because it just stopped. Oh, you know, you need to tell. And this is the one with the uh, raisins in it. Oh, look, it all mixed up very, very well. It's a wonders how when you read their directions of how when to put fruit in works so much better than when doing it when you think it's going to get done. Oh, but look how pretty that turned out really nice. Now we're going to slice it. So let's see what it looks like. He's going to go ahead and slice his first. And then he'll slice mine. Is it nice and firm on the outside, honey? Yeah, yeah. he says yes yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. Okay, take it a little taste. Oh, wait, he's going to go back and cut mine. Bear with me. Okay, here's mine. It's nice and firm on the outside. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's soft on the inside. So mine is just plain cinnamon bread. His is cinnamon raisin bread. But you know what? I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm gonna take a, oh, you can just smell the cinnamon. I'm going to take a quick taste. Mm, 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 mm. Yum, yum, yum. Let me lay that down. Okay, he is saying thumbs up. We got two bread machines. One is the uh, uh, Oster. And this one here is what the inside looks, the control looks like. And then the other Oster, which we've had, and that one, and look how pretty the whole thing turned out. That's his raisin bread. And look at all the raisins. They're all mixed up. They kneaded very, very well. Bear with me. Then I'm going to take you to mine. And both yummy. Thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. We catch you. Oh, there's Hubby with his thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. We catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.